Ozzy. You're in grave peril. Terrible, horrible. Not nice things are going to happen. Like sloths eating your spleen and your lunch and stuff. That is. Unless you do everything I say, without question. So, you're practicing to be a Republican? Please, Ozzy, this is no time for such partisanship. Well, yes. So what evidence do you have that I'm in peril and should trust you to get me out of it? See, if you hadn't questioned me, I could have prevented that. Tell me you don't know how to make cement shoes. Help me clean my room and I might not learn. You look like you're done issuing veiled threats now. Yep. I don't know where I am, and I've forgotten how to work my spine. So now you're practicing to be a Democrat? In the interest of equal time. Hey, Avery. Doing anything? That'd be a big no. The latest trend has yet to emerge. I for one am not going to be caught on the wrong side of it. So I'm just going to sit here until I know what it is. You have ants forming a hill on you. Hmm. That's probably never going to be all that cool, huh? I hereby call this meeting of the Greater Lumen Parliament to order. The chair recognizes and grants the floor to the representative from the District of Ozzy's room. I'm sorry. Did you put drugs in my cereal or something? I just thought our breakfast conversation could stand to be more procedural. I suppose you're wondering why I've called this meeting. Not really. We eat breakfast every. I've decided that Luland is going to do something a bit different. It flies in the face of everything our neighbor, the United States, professes to believe. We can expect repercussions at the border. What? You mean we're going to legalize? The culting of do not remove tags from mattresses. Why would you want to legalize mattress tag cutting? I believe it's Greater Lumen's duty to be a moral beacon. People who cut off tags are so harshly treated in the United States. In Lumen, we believe in freedom for all who are not harming others. Of course, we can expect a flood of Americans who want to. Hey, which way to the mattresses? Hello, Millicent. You are eavesdropping again? I've developed a sixth sense about when to hide in the bushes. Hello? Hello, Mr. Llewellyn. This is the Attorney General of the United States. Now, now, you know better than to address me as Mr. John. Sigh, you know this creates unnecessary international tension. Still, it's one of the pleasures of being a head of state. All right, Chief Diagonal Pumpkin Non-Hippopotamus Dragony Thingy Dingy Flingy Llewellyn. You forgot the 19th. You know how seriously the U.S. takes its war on people who cut tags off of mattresses. Llewellyn, having a country next door illegalize it undermines the whole effort. I'm sorry, but I've made up my mind. Then it might interest you to know we've seized some of your holdings in retaliation. Wait, you took my lawn flamingo? It'd be a real shame if something were to happen to it. Today, the United States government is reeling from neighboring Greater Llewellyn's announcement that it had decriminalized. The cutting of tags off mattresses, a U.S. spokesperson said. They just won't respond to our threats. So all we can do is rigorously patrol the border. The border? Look, I just want my ball. It's right there. Sir, I need to see 97 forms of ID and go get some pockets we can check. <laughs>